<laughs> yeah, I mean, they're not where they normally are. Uh, they're not where everyone liked it, even me to myself. But uh, it was an up and down year. Uh, I learned a lot about myself, about dealing with some stuff. So looking forward to this year, uh, taking those uh, experiences and learning from them. How do you help? Are you healthy now? Yeah, I feel good. I, I do. I really do. Uh, off season, I had no issues with my hand, uh, so everything's been good so far. Tim, you said you learned something about yourself. What did you learn? Yeah, it's it's not always you gotta force something, you know. Uh, if you can play through something to a certain extent, you can do that, but don't always force it. Uh, sometimes forcing it is not the best thing. Do you, do you regret kind of staying in the lineup as long as you did? But honestly, a little bit, a little bit, honestly, but. That's just who I am, you know. I enjoy playing baseball, and I mean, if I have something broken, that's probably the only way that I won't be in the lineup. But I mean, to, to a point, I, I do regret it, but it's, it's over with. Uh, you live and you learn, and it's a new year, so now you can deal with stuff better. I think maybe just maybe just a couple weeks off would help. Uh, yeah, definitely would have. Uh, but we were in the heat of things. We were, we were pushing for the playoffs, so you don't want to be the guy on the bench. And not being able to help your team to win. So, as I said, you learn, and, and I definitely did. Sam, you're going to be playing for a manager who was a shortstop when he was a player. How much um, do you think that can help you? It definitely will help me a lot. Uh, I always said I always have PD over there at second base who, who played there in the minors. Uh, he's a gold glove second baseman. So, he, he definitely helped me a lot throughout the years. Butterfield is just not here no more. Uh, but there are new guys in here uh, that hopefully I'm looking forward to help me, uh, help me get better. To the pay that, that definitely was a few years ago. When you have conversations with Alex, what has kind of been his message to you when you guys spoke? Well, I've talked very briefly to him. You know, he seems very open, uh, someone you can reach to whenever you want for any type of problem, any type of situation. Uh, so I'm looking forward to building a relationship with him now that, that I'm in spring training. Uh, hopefully it goes on into the season. <coughs> How important is it this thing to have a healthy Pedoria? That would be great. Uh, that would be great. Uh, these last few years, he's been battling some injuries during the season. Uh, but having him, uh, one of the main anchors on, on the team, on the lineup, uh, would definitely be a huge boost. So I know we're all in here looking forward to seeing him and, and seeing how his body feels. So you look at um, the shortstops kind of in your age range in Major League Baseball. How much do you kind of want to be compared to those guys and kind of be at that level? Like, <coughs> I mean, you always want to be the best, you know. It doesn't matter how, how young or old you are. Uh, I think you always want to strive to be the best in the, in the pack, uh, be on top of that leaderboard. And hopefully this year I, I, I go right up there again, you know. Uh, last year, as I said, I learned a lot. Uh, but this year is a new year, fresh start, so we're looking forward to it big time. When you see kind of the accolades that those guys get, does that drive you or motivate you? Or? Uh, I mean, I have some on my own, you know, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Trying to get more of that. Uh, the ones that I got is definitely uh, stuff that I'm thankful for. Uh, and I'm very appreciative of, of, of being honored with those. So I'm looking forward to, to getting those and even more. Xander, we was talking about where this team can get some more power and home runs from the year ago. The guys were down the bottom of the year. Home runs total obviously dropped off last year. Do you think you are a guy who can supply some of that? Do you think you're capable of more? <coughs> Yeah, I, I definitely do think so. Uh, I'm not saying I'm going out there and hit 60 like, like Stanton or something, but I definitely could go out there and put up kind of the same numbers as 16 and maybe a little bit better, and that's the kind of stuff I'm looking forward to this year. How do you do that? Is that Does that involve some... Uh, it involves some health. Health Health is number one. Uh, the, best, the best health you are, I think that that's where you can do the, the better stuff. Uh, if you're not healthy, you, you, I've learned you, you cannot do a lot. Would you be able to sign an extension with the team long term? I always said I, I enjoy my time here and enjoying every every year uh, coming down to spring training, seeing seeing all the guys again that has been on my team. The joy is probably one of the main guys that I've been here with uh, a long time. So having having him and and me on the same team, I'm looking forward to that for, for a couple more years. How about signing a long term extension? Yeah, I, I, as I said, I, I always enjoy my time here. Uh, it's a city that I enjoy playing for. They expect winning. I always enjoy winning. I don't like losing in any type of things, sports, video games, anything. I just don't like losing. So 
I think it's a city that's, that's nice for me. See, so yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, and he said you know, there were times where maybe there was some <clears throat> tension in the clubhouse last year when things weren't going well, that maybe you guys didn't have as much fun as a winning team should have. Did you sense some of that, and, and can that change? I mean, it's a long season, you know. Uh, Whenever there are a lot of men in the room, there will always be some kind of some kind of headbutt, some kind of agreements and disagreements. But in the end, we came out on top. We came out on top of division leaders, uh, division champs. So we had to be doing something right, you know. And as go men, we get past all those issues, all those problems, and move forward. Is that something that maybe you talked with Luke or Dustin in the off season, or just kind of handled tough times? We're all we're all grown men. I, I definitely believe we're all learning from last year. Uh, we had a lot of stuff going on last year, to be honest, and we all live, learn, and, and move forward. You know, we, we can't just sit back and, and keep reminding ourselves about the past because it's not something we really would want to do. Xander, two straight playoff exits yeah. quickly, and Mookie said maybe he's learned that you got to have a little more of a sense of urgency in the playoffs. Yeah. Is that something, you know, especially those two games in Houston last year? Yeah. What do you of, take away? Yeah, kind of put us in a, in a little bit of a hole, but. I mean, we, we, we're doing something right, you know, to get in there. There's a lot of teams that haven't been there in years. So we're just trying to get over that, that little bump and, and back to 2013 where we're in the playoffs and in the finals and, and, and try to get there. You were one of the, hard to believe, one of the few yeah. guys left from that 2013 yeah. team. What Can you look back on that team and see what that had, what, you know, because, again, making it is the first goal, but then what it takes to go deep in a playoff I mean, run? If, if, if you look good, that team on, on roster-wise, name-wise, it probably wasn't one of the best teams the Red Sox ever had to win it. Uh, but the chemistry that we had was, I mean, was was way beyond. Uh, we, we were a lot like brothers, uh, a lot like family on and off the field, a lot of veterans. I was probably one of the youngest guys in that team, and all of them just, they treated me so, so, so well that I was feeling so comfortable in that team and could have been able to perform. So. Anytime you got a team mixed with veterans and young guys, if the veterans just take those young guys and, and, and show them the way and, and make them feel comfortable, we can we can make this happen. You're one of the youngest guys in the league at that point, not just the yeah, team. Yeah, now I'm game. getting old. Now you're a veteran. I mean, that's so. You, tell me about that. How do you how do you become that guy who's helping some of the younger guys learn what it takes? 2013 was special. Uh, all these other years, I, I believe we have better teams, paper wise, name wise. But 2013, we, we were so close with each other. We had such a bond. Uh, David Ross, I mean, Mike Napoli, one of my favorite guys, David Ross. Uh, the way they treat you, uh, the way they, they they show you the way, I mean, it's it's, it's unbelievable. And especially me from a, a young kid from AAA, I mean, I didn't know much. So you try to learn those those stuff that they learn you and try to move on to a guy like maybe like Devers, you know. Uh, I'm, playing next to him at third base, so he's definitely one of the main guys I got to help this season because I know how much the season goes up and down, especially in your first year in the Big East. Xander, what are your thoughts on having most of the entire roster path in 2017? Familiarity. You know, uh, we all know each other. Uh, there's just a few a few new signings here and there, but most of the guys are back. Uh, last year, we, we, we did great. You know, we, we didn't reach how far we wanted to, but... We did make the playoffs, and, and, and we moved past all the all the issues we had. Yeah, you you know, a minute ago, you just said we had a lot of stuff going on last year. Yeah. Can you specify what was going on last year? I mean, we all know. We all know what was going on. Uh, <coughs> I don't think I really want to get into details, but that's what I said. The, the, the quicker we move on, it's the better for all of us. Uh, we should look forward to this year. This is a new year. Uh, new expectation. Try to reach the playoff again and get over that, that first round. Did you expect there? Uh, did you expect there to be a lot of turnover after last season? Or? I mean, not really, not really, to be honest. If you ask me, because we did make it to the playoffs, we didn't play uh, or, or reach as far as we wanted to, but we did make it. I mean, there's a lot of teams that don't make it. You know, I made I made it my first year to the, to the finals, and I, I kind of haven't got back. You know, but I've reached to the playoffs, but just we cannot get over that first first round. With everything going on last year, what did you learn about kind of going through a season without David Ortiz and in your clubhouse to kind of be a leader for you guys? I mean, he was one of those guys. Whenever he sees something goes goes wrong, he's uh, he's that guy to talk about it openly and you know try to fix it right away. You know, I mean, those are special guys. You know, they're they're, they're special from 
from a young age and hopefully we can we can have some guys step up. I know we definitely have guys in here that can step up and, and we have a great year going forward. Who are those step up guys that you're talking about? Keenan? There's a lot of leaders in different ways. There's Lowell well, Sammy. Peony is one. Uh, Rick Pocello, uh, David Price. There's a, there's a lot of guys. I mean, there's a lot of guys mixed with some young guys. So those are mostly veteran guys that have been around the league a long time. Are you one of those guys? I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, to that challenge. Uh, hopefully, I can be up in those shoes one day. Uh, be kind of like a David. Personality-wise and stuff like that. Does it bother you that you went in the playoffs two years in a row? You win 93 games, you win the division, that they fire the manager, and everyone seems it was a disappointing year last year. Does it bother you guys internally? In the I mean, we made it. We made it to the playoffs. You know, uh, as I said again, there's not a lot of teams that make it. Uh, John was my only manager in the big league, so I, I'm definitely thankful for, for all the stuff that he, he learned me and the opportunities that he gave me to play. Uh, but now we, we got to move on. We have four right in here, uh, position players, so I'm definitely looking forward to all, all the new stuff that he has to learn me throughout the years that he played as an infielder. Yeah, uh, David Price said the other day that all of us, I don't know if he's referring to this group here, the media or the fans, expect a lot in Boston and maybe expect too much from you guys. Do you feel that? I like that, actually. I do like it. Uh, I always want to go out there and play good. I want to play real good. Uh, sometimes when I don't, uh, I, I feel a bit disappointed as it's supposed to be. You know, you want to go out there and give it your best. You want to be better than everyone. Uh, it's kind of like the right mindset to have, but expectation is always high in Boston. All, any type of sports in Boston, hockey, uh, the Celtics, I mean, the Patriots, anything. So it's, it's a good feeling when, when a city and a team really wants to win. Andrew, you referenced the managerial change. Uh, did you sense that there was a disconnect at all between the manager and some players last year? Uh, speaking for myself, not not for me. Uh, he always treated me with respect. I always treated him right. Uh, we always talked about stuff. He would call me into the, the the manager office, so I never had any any issue with him. I'm talking about myself, so I really can't talk about other guys. Realizing that you know a lot can happen in a couple of years. Um, You've been through arbitration twice, and you've got one more to go. Yeah. You sort of look around and see this winter more than 100 free agents who still haven't signed. Does that change how, how you look at the possibility of doing an extension? Do you sort of, are you more or less eager, same? Uh, uh, it's just it's just weird how, how this year has been going. You know, uh, There's a lot of good guys out there, a lot of big name guys that has been productive, productive throughout all their careers. and think about that they don't have any teams it's kind of it's kind of weird to, to to visualize or to envision you know i mean hopefully they all get signed soon or rather than later uh, they all end up with a team and because those guys have family also and, and hopefully they can take care of them it's just a weird off season this year and uh it's hopefully we all they, they all get you know, whatever they want players always look forward to free agency and yeah. having that opportunity might a winter like this sort of change that for someone like you who's going to have to face in a couple of years? Uh, yeah, I got a couple more years to go, probably two more this one and next year. Uh, anything can happen, you know, anything can happen. Uh, it's the right moment, the right time, anything can happen. Uh, I enjoy my time being always did and, and forever will love the city, you know.